Hello everyone, this is the Retro Gamer 06. How's everyone doing today? Today is another unboxing video. Yes, I've been kind of doing this for a while. Uh, but before I begin, subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and make sure you ring that bell button for more videos. Alright guys, so I've been getting physical copies of these games. Now I did buy these digital uh why I didn't get them physical right away is beyond me. I don't know why I didn't do it, but I am now. So, I did a, an unboxing of Castlevania Anniversary Collection for the Switch. Which, again, you know, you can also get for the PS4, Xbox. Also physical, but, you know, I just love playing my games on the go. So, it finally came in the mail today. from I, I got it from eBay. I paid $53, $54.00. About the same price as Castlevania Anniversary Collection. So, here it is. Castlevania Requiem. I believe this originally uh, came out uh, 2018 uh, or 19. I can't remember exactly. And this is PS4 only. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. My only complaint that I, I wish they would put it on the Switch. It would be nice to have it on the Switch. You know, that way I have all of my Castlevania gang on the Switch. But, yeah. So, sadly, this is only on the PS4. But, don't uh, but don't fret, though. This is playable on the PS5. I have tried it. I tested it. Uh, now, this is brand new. As you can see. Not even opened yet. Uh... So yeah, here's the cover. Uh, and of course, for those who don't know about this collection, you get two games. Sippy of the Night and a little glare there. Uh, Rondo of Blood. And I'm sorry if you can hear that train. There's a train track close to my house. So I apologize if y'all can hear a train in the background. So yeah. And it even says it in the bottom. Sibby of the Night and Rondo of Blood. Of course, it's Konami. Rate T for Teen. Uh, for Blood and Gore. Partial Nudity. And Violence. And of course, this is Limited Run. Here's the Spine. I think. Yeah, LR Limited Run. 322. I don't know what that stands for. Here it says limited run number uh, 443. Here's the back. <clears throat> it says two Castlevania masterpieces all in one place. Experience two of the greatest games from the famous Castlevania series. Make your way to the top of Dracula's castle as Richter Belmont, descendant of the famed clan of vampire hunters and Rondo of Blood. Take the leading role as Dracula's son, Alucard, and Sippy of the Night. Uh, my personal favorite. So, it's one player, dual shock vibration, it's 1.30 gigabyte minimum. Uh, try and see if there's a year on this. I think the physical copy, I think this kind of just last year, it's saying uh, 2022, but I know it originally came out 2018 or 2019. Uh, one thing I want to point out when they first announced this, digital only, that the cover was misleading. A lot of people thought they were getting uh, the Rondo of Blood remake, you know, the 3D graphics. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's from uh, Dracula X Chronicles for the PSP. Uh, in that game, I know I did a review on this, I think. But in that game, you can unlock two classic games. The uh, the original Rock on Blood, which is in English. And then City of the Night with new voices and new dialogue. But same game from the PS1 and Dreamcast. Well, that's what you're getting on there. You're getting the two 
constant games that were unlockable and Dracula X Chronicle. A lot of people thought that was a lazy port. I'm glad they put it on the PS4 because that gives chance, especially for this one, that gives people a chance to play the original Rondo of Blood. So I think it's a good thing. And City of the Night for the PS1 is expensive unless you have an emulator. But yeah, I went on eBay. The original copy of this game is like over a hundred dollars. So the best way to experience these two games, if you don't if you don't have a PSP, this is the way to go. PS4. Again, does this play on the PS5 as well? You don't have to get a PS4. So yeah, I just don't know why they used the remake version of the cover. Uh, it's very misleading. They could have used the original. Uh, the Rondo of Blood cover. But anyway, without further ado, guys, let's open this bad boy up. Got my trusty box cutter. Okay. Put my cap back on. For some reason, these things don't. There's not a switch where the play goes down. But, yeah, anyway. I bought that family dollar, I think. Now, I didn't mention this, but uh, I feel something loose in some of the case. Because I hate when discs do that. You know, they get loose. So, I got to be careful when I open this up. <laughs> Okay. Here's what it looks like. It looks like it comes with a poster. Very cool. Here's the disc. Very nice. Very cool. This on the side, and then it appears to be a poster. That's very cool. Yeah, this right here is the original Rondo of Blood. Or it might be Dracula X on the uh, Silver Nintendo. I don't know. But that's Rector Belmont. And you got Dracula's eyes in the background. You got the full moon and the bats. Very cool. Maybe I'll frame this. I don't know. I gotta like maybe measure it. I don't know. I might, I might frame this and put it on my wall. I have to say. And of course it's got uh, inside art, which I'll pull it out. And there you have it. Rondo of Blood and Sivvy of the Night. Alucard is my guy, he's my favorite character in the whole series. Very cool. Very nice. Alright guys, there you have it. I put it all back together. Uh, I put the cover on upside down, so I had to rearrange it. So, yeah, there you have it. Castlevania Requiem. Two good games. Uh, you know, just two complaints. I wish they used the original cover and not the remake, because that's not what you're getting. Uh, I prefer the original, me personally. Uh, my other complaint, I wish they would put this on the Switch. Who knows? Maybe in the future we might get on the Switch. I don't know. So, yeah, it'll be kind of, it'll be kind of cool. Because I, I want to play this one on my channel sometime, uh, the City of the Night. And I gotta figure out how to, see if I can record, uh, Rondo of Blood. So, 
Yeah. But I'm definitely going to play this on my channel, I think. I'm not for sure when. It, and it's going to be the original PS1. It won't be this version. So, yeah. I would like to play a couple of these Castlevania games. I did a little bit last year, but it wasn't like a full playthrough. So, and also, and I know I, I mentioned this real fast before I leave. Uh, I mentioned this in my last unboxing video, again, which was Castlevania and the Versus Collection. Uh, I mentioned that Limited Run is now making a physical copy of Castlevania Advanced Collection. And what's cool about this one, there's four different covers you can choose from. That is Dracula, uh, Dracula X, which is the Super Nintendo version. Circle of the Moon, Harmony of, of Dissonance, and Aria of Sorrow. So I'll put a link down in the description box. I think pre-order ends on September 10th. So make sure you pre-order a copy. Uh, me personally, I just got the standard edition. It's like $34.99. There is a collector's edition and all that, but... I don't want to spend that much money up because I'm trying to put my back for a Comic Con. So, yeah. So, I'll put a link down so y'all can put your your copy of that. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Again, this is Castlevania Requiem. You can get it digital or physical. Digital, I don't know how much it is now. I'm with 30 or $40, dollars, but this is like 50 something dollars. But if you're a huge fan like me, and you prefer a uh, physical copy, get it while it's still 50 You might even find it for $40 if you're lucky. So, yeah, just go on eBay. That's where I got my copy. So, anyway, I'm happy to have this. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, have a good day. Once again, subscribe to my channel. Leave a like. I would appreciate it. Uh, you know, hit that notification button so y'all won't miss a, a video. This is the Virgin Gamer 06, signing out.